Hi everyone, uh, out at the field today with my Dollar Tree Foam MiG 35B, uh, doing a little bit more, shooting a little bit more flight video of the uh, uh, RC Timer 2205-2550KV uh, racer, uh, quad racing motor from RC Timer. Uh, today I'm uh, using the uh, Master Air Screw 6x4x3 prop, um, which is probably my favorite prop now for uh, any uh, uh, motor between about 2200 and 2600 uh, kV and definitely my favorite motor our favorite prop for this little motor um, so anyway uh, let's uh, let's give her a little thrash here and I'll yap as we go along so 60% uh, throttle at launch uh, the nice thing I like about the the master air screw prop uh, 6x4x3 compared to uh, <laughs> The other uh, props I've tested is in that sort of mid throttle range, I guess maybe not mid, but say 60 to 75% throttle, uh, where I spend about 90% of my time. I just find the performance is, uh, is just that much better than uh, say the 6x4 EPC, which is probably closest in performance to this prop uh, compared to the other ones I tested. Ooh, nice low pass there. <laughs> Be careful here, not get too cocky. So there's that full throttle turn. Yahoo! Pull a little G. Uh, it is quieter than uh, the 6x4 EPC. A little bit of a breeze here. I'm just getting a little bobbled, uh, bobbled around. I better be careful. Um, with, uh, with this prop, uh, the motor pulls about 30 amps, which is uh, with, well within, it's a 32 amp uh, uh, motor. So I'm well within the motor's uh, specifications there. Uh, it's pretty cool today, it's only about 10 degrees again, uh, 50 Fahrenheit. So, uh, you know, no, no heat buildup whatsoever, but I think this motor will run all day with this uh, <laughs> with this prop. So I'm just pinned here right at about three quarters throttle. Just thrash around kind of all day. Nice, nice response. I just, uh, I guess I'm so used to this prop now. I just really like the feeling of it in that, you know, sort of mid range throttle. Uh, throttle setting good vertical acceleration I mean this plane only weighs 20.9 ounces and the the prop prop motor combo are producing I think around 30 to 31 ounces of thrust so plenty of plenty of thrust to weight ratio there rock and roll The Megatola of Rock and Rolla. <laughs> I really got to stop having so much fun doing this. All right, let's just do one more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just cranking on the downwind there. You can't get in a nice smooth landing. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, I, I, again, like I said in my last video where I tested the 6x4 EPC, I'm, uh, I'm just super impressed with the power of this, uh, of this little beast, this little motor. Um, I'm just going to unplug my battery here. Safety first. Uh, yeah, really, uh, you know, for, for its weight and its size, uh, you know, it really, really provides a lot of power and it's and it's uh, super light uh, you know it's it's got a very lightweight um, the can on the motor is made of a very lightweight uh, aluminum so it's much much lighter than uh, than your standard uh, I know it's probably hard for you to see but it's also got lots of uh, vent holes here so I mean that that's not even 
Look at that tiny bit of warmth there. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in the last video, this also, if you don't, uh, if you, it, it comes with a little sort of nylon lock nuts uh, to hold the prop on. Um, I just find that I'm a bit of a ham fist, so if I try and get a wrench down in there, I'd probably end up damaging my plane. Um, so these, this is just a standard uh, bullet nut, you know, that comes with uh, any of your uh, 3 by one 7 millimeter prop collet setups that you'd normally use on a park jet. And I actually found this little, uh, this little tool here uh, from Banggood not too long ago, but unfortunately they don't carry it. So uh, you might be able to see it's got like two little pins right there off the end of my thumb, and they just fit through the little hole there and uh, just works like a hot knife through butter. Really, uh, really a cool little tool. I think I only paid about three or four bucks for it. Uh, it's made by Realac, yeah, or Reac. But anyway, uh, like I said, Banggood unfortunately doesn't carry anymore, but I'm sure if you looked around, it's a pretty handy little gadget. So anyway, there we go, folks. Uh, really, uh, as I mentioned, uh, really liking this motor. I've actually ordered two more already because I think uh, if I remember correctly, the price that RC Timer had them on for was a bit of a special. I think right now they're $11.75 US. And I think the regular price was more like uh, 16 or something, 16 or 17, but I could be wrong. So anyway, please check out the comments down below for more info, including links to uh, bench testing data and, uh, and all that sort of stuff. So thanks for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.